Good morning, North American traders. Privateer FX coming back at you for the New York Open. Europe was dead. We thought we were going to get some volatility on that inflation number. Core was slightly higher at 1.1. The headline number was 1.4, pretty much as expected. Euro did nothing. We're trading at 120.52 now. The low is 41. The price at release was 44. So we've moved up a whopping eight points. Anyway, now we wait for the circus to begin that we call non-farm payrolls. 190 expected. We got an interesting little scenario here in euro dollar we got this top side 120 90 and then we have this downside 120 to figure these are the key elements to watch today we'll be looking to trade on a print below 150 or a print above 230 if you're anywhere between between those two be very careful for just could be just wash uh, we are, of course, focusing on any kind of wage inflation, which is a secondary number that everyone will be looking at. If we do see wage inflation uh, and it's the numbers in line, we still uh, will take a we'll take a hack at the downside in euro. So it's wage inflation plus the number. The parameters are set: 12090 or 120 the figure. Let's see how that goes. Bitcoin's higher today. Just recently, we've kind of shot up here, as you can see on the hourlies, from 15,000 up to 16,000. The highs, 16,100. Ethereum also just gently bid, although we've come off our highs, but we're sort of dancing around this thousand level. You can probably expect some consolidation up here. But Ethereum looks very constructive. Very, very constructive. You want to stick some random bids in around 800, uh, and then some more random bids in around 550 for the inevitable headline low liquidity movements. But. The more cryptos that are coming out and the more ICOs that are done, the more Ethereum is going to be in demand. So this one looks pretty constructive. Back to FX. We got dollar yen here, trading at the highs right now. 113.25. It gets really, really interesting as far as the overall ranges for the past two months 113.75 is kind of the range high and then the super important 114.75 highly doubtful that we get up to 114.75 but 113.75 is important we look for a touch there probably sell the first time out but it is numbers dependent obviously we're not going to be selling dollar yen if wage inflation is higher and the number comes out at 250 but let's keep in mind it's already up a half a percent on the day and volatility overall is really not going crazy so this thing is going to get pretty stretched by the time it's up at 113.75 so if it's a neutral number and you see it up there you can probably sell it let's look at dollar cad for a sec because we got these uh, canadian employment numbers out last night we broke through 125 the figure printed down to 86. Today we were down to 82. This again is a kind of binary kind of scenario. Strong employment out of Canada. This downside looks like has some more legs to it. But then a week one we'll do the retrace and there will be stops above 125.60 now. People got short yesterday, and some people may be sitting short. If you look at EuroCAD, 
right in the middle of nowhere. Not much to do with that. And then we'll get one last look here. Dollar Swiss. People are thinking that this uh, Swiss franc, like they do every year, for the last nine, might be the carry trade currency this year. On a strong one, you'll probably get a bang, more bang for your buck through the 97.95 highs than you will with the dollar yen highs, 113.76, just because dollar Swiss has moved less in the pre trade. As you all know, and as I lament all the time, dollar Swiss is incredibly tricky to trade. You've got to keep your eye on what Euro Swiss is doing, and the liquidity is just not quite as smooth as Euro dollar. So, be careful with that if we try the dollar Swiss. Emerging markets, carry trade, people are buying Turkish Lira. Uh, we see support down here at uh, 364, so it's, it's got another thousand points here to go before we start getting to support at this 200 day moving average and this breakout level. So. On a weak one, this will continue lower. Not many people are trading this. It's not burdened by positioning. It will be simply traded in a binary fashion off the number. Of course, the problem with dollar turkey is liquidity. Good luck with that. Boons and bonds back into the middle of the ranges since the opening of the year. Bonds are closer to their lows than they are to their highs. Down through this sort of 123, 16, 15, 14 level will be very important if we get through that. And that coincides with a yield of around 250. A lot of people will be watching that. So, as you all know, it's not really technically driven today. This is a numbers game. Let's think about our strategies, have a bunch of what if scenarios. If we're at 250, then we do this. If we're at 150, then we do this. If wage inflation is this, then we do this. That's really to the discretion and to the risk for each trader. Uh, and with that, I can just wish you uh, good luck with the number and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening to Privateer FX. We will see you Monday at the European Open. Good luck in today's session. Ciao.